Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Ritchie of the Ritchie Eye Clinic, and I want to thank you for joining us today. Today, I want to talk a little bit more about options available for people who are considering cataract surgery. Now, as you may know, cataract surgery is a very common procedure. Everybody develops a cataract. A cataract is very normal. In fact, a cataract is nothing more than the normal human lens inside the eye turning yellow. The more yellow the lens turns, the darker yellow it becomes, the more it interferes with light passing into the eye and it blurs vision. So, the analogy that I use for most people is that a cataract is nothing more than a dirty windshield in your car. Now, the engine of the car is totally unaffected by a dirty windshield. Similarly, in the eye, as you develop a cataract, it may blur vision, but the cataract like a dirty windshield, is never going to damage the retina, what some people would consider the engine. So, how do you know when to remove your cataract? Well, it's very simple. When you're tired of looking through that yellow, discolored human lens, when your vision's blurry enough, we fix it. Surgically, we remove that cloudy cataract, and we replace it with a man-made, crystal-clear lens implant. Now, this is where things can get exciting. With the lens implant, we have several options. First, standard cataract surgery, pretty much the surgery that we all do, and a surgery that I've been doing in Faribault now for the last 18 years, I try my best to build your glasses prescription right into that lens implant. Now, with standard lens implants, we can't specifically address astigmatism and it's a single vision lens implant, which means we can give you good distance vision, but we can't give you good reading vision. With modern cataract surgery and lens implant technologies, however, we now have some good options. First, let me start with the simplest option. One, we build your distance correction into your lens implants as best we can, works beautifully, on average, about 96% of people who have cataract surgery can see well enough at distance to qualify for a driver's license without glasses. The second option uses the same single vision lens implant technology, but what we do is a little bit different. I will measure the eye and I will build your distance correction into that one lens implant, but in the other eye, we cheat just a little bit. By that I mean I add a little bit of focusing power so that that eye can read a little bit better. Now, in some circles, one eye for distance, one eye for near, we call that monovision. And we can certainly do a full, true monovision with lens implants. Many people will do this with contact lenses. They'll have one eye focused for distance and one eye focused for reading. It's extremely versatile but it's not your best vision. The best vision you can have is with both eyes working together. Now with monovision, we break that apart. So you get the versatility of distance and near, but you forfeit some of the extra clarity that you get with both eyes working together. In cataract surgery, we can do a full monovision, but frequently what I do is of what I call mini monovision. I don't give full reading vision here, but if we move it out here, you get arm's length. You still have some good binocularity. It's just extremely versatile. Mini monovision, that works beautifully. That's an option. Keep it in mind. With lens implant technologies, now we can get into some of the real exciting things. We now have a lens implant that can help correct astigmatism. This is new. We've never been able to do this, and correcting astigmatism means that we can now give the best distance vision that we can get for people who have astigmatism. We have never before been able to correct that with cataract surgery. We can still do the concept of monovision or mini monovision, but now we're doing it in people who have astigmatism who would not have benefited as much prior. One of the other more exciting technologies is that we have a lens implant that has a 
bifocal, trifocal type of design built in. Now this lens implant offers good distance vision, good arm's length vision, and good reading vision. This is the ultimate in versatility. Now, keep in mind nothing's perfect, but this is as close as we come. This lens implant works best when you have one in each eye so you get your binocular vision. It gives good distance vision, it gives good reading vision, and it gives good smooth transition in between. What's the downside? Because obviously there's always the potential for problems. As I said, the multifocal lens implant isn't perfect, but it's pretty close. The drawback the extra focusing power, the bifocal and trifocal portion, is built in a ring design on the lens. That ring design construction can sometimes cause halos around lights at night. Now, everybody will get some glare at night in the early going. Whether you have a multifocal lens, a toric astigmatism correcting lens implant, or a conventional lens implant, you will have glare at night. As you heal, the glare improves dramatically. With the multifocal design on the lens implant, you may still have some rings around lights at night, but the rings are going to fade over time. Here I have a photographer's rendition of what the glare at night might look like. As you can see in this top photograph, this is the glare that patients will sometimes describe in the immediate first couple of weeks after cataract surgery. But you can see over time, the photo on the bottom here shows that the glare fades dramatically. This is typically what people will see by three months. Patients have told us that this continues to fade and by six to 12 months uh, is when we see things settle in at about their best. So, if cataract surgery is in your future, understand your options. For more information, please don't hesitate to call us or come on into the Ritchie Eye Clinic here in Faribault. Thank you for listening.